Hello everyone, thank you for coming back to another Kira Kira review, how to, and this is really just a how to for my moms out there. I know a lot of moms are getting ready to go on spring break and a lot of moms have uh, young kids. So this is like more so geared towards the moms that have the younger kids. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a color box or an activity box. So I know you're wondering like what is that? So I'm going to tell you about it. A color box is a box that is large enough to fit your child into. Now you're not going to close up the box on the top or anything. You're not going to seal it but you do need to seal the bottom and you leave the flaps open and your child may be tall enough or you know um, coordinated enough to climb into the box and or if not then you just put them inside of the box and what goes in the box? What makes it an activity box or a color box is you drop in some color crayons, maybe some markers, you know, their favorite small little items that, you know, you know, they're not going to choke on. They're not going to put, you know, in their mouth. I, I do it for my two year old. Um, so you can do it, you know, two years old or older. I've done it when my other child was three. And so what you do, they have a great time. You guys are going to see a clip. Um, of a child who is inside of that box having the time of their life talking asking questions telling you what their problems are so it's a good communication time for you and a child um, whether it's your child or even maybe someone that you're babysitting we have nannies out there also we have daycare workers I'm not sure what the policies and procedures and regulations are for you know daycare providers using boxes as an activity tool but uh, for I'm thinking more so moms and educators just thinking of a, a cost effective way to allow your child to have some activity time that is not related to a screen and it is wonderful uh, you can target um, answering questions asking questions uh, colors numbers I know for the older kids, you can even put in their sight words, have them write sentences, draw pictures about their favorite books, maybe favorite characters from the books, vocabulary from different books, as long as the box is big enough for them to sit inside comfortably. Uh, and it's a wonderful tool. It's so much fun. But also beyond that, I call it an activity box because uh, I know a child who loves money so what I do is I put a series of coins in there so this is something if you do what I'm about to tell you with the coins then you actually need to be in the room and watching the child because you don't want them to end up choking on the cones and coins and you know putting them in their mouths disgusting and everything but what I do is put a put a small little piggy bank inside of the box and then I also put, I drop in coins, various coins, quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, what have you. I put it in there and it takes them time, right, to get those little fingers working, to get the coins and put it in. And of course, they're going to stop and talk to you. But if they love money or even just small things, it could be beads, you know, anything small. It could be alphabets that you put into a small shoe box inside of the box that they're sitting in. It's a way to self you know contain them you know so that they're not hurting themselves maybe if you have some housework to do you have some reports to write you have phone calls to make maybe you're mopping the floor i'm just giving you some ideas of things that you can do with your kids just put them in the box put some things in the box and what they're going to do let's go back to the coloring activity so if you drop in some markers and crayons they're going to color inside of the box and of course like i said you're going to see in the video clip after this um this child's having so much fun having a great time uh working inside of the box so it's just a little work box i guess work box color box activity box whatever it is and it's relatively cost effective the most you have to do if you just want to go the color activity route get you a box from walmart get you a box from Lowe's, Home Depot, somebody you know who's moving, you know, just a large enough box. You get a box from work that is, you know, large enough to put a child in and still have room to move around comfortably. And you put those items inside of there and just let them create, have a good time. And for those of you parents who are not afraid of uh, a little bit of mess, I would say put down an old uh, blanket or a tarp 
you know, something you don't mind maybe getting paint on. You can let them paint, you know, put paint inside of the box and let them paint. Give them a paintbrush. Give them a toothbrush. Give them, um, what are the Q-tips, you know, and let them paint inside of there. Maybe that's a place where only they're allowed to play with slime and putty and, you know, those little, uh, the, the little foam rice things. Those are the types of things that I hate around my house. Foam, slime, those types of things. Play-Doh. So very hard to clean up once it dries and you don't realize that it's somewhere <laughs> until it's too late. So that's a, another safe option for them to play. So get yourself a box. Have some fun. For those of you who see this and you have kids, they don't have to be little kids, but you know, you have kids, you try it out make sure you comment below let me know how it worked out for you some other ideas that you came up with using it would be wonderful because i'm always accepting new ideas trying to think of more things to do uh outside of screen time whether it be on a tv or a tablet or a phone whatever it is i'm always trying to think of other things so leave a comment below tell me what you think about it tell me if you tried it and I thank you so much for picking up for today's how-to slash review. My review on this particular activity is uh, fives across the board. And I know some of you have seen the cash, check, or credit. And maybe I should go ahead and explain that now, what that means, the cash, check, or credit. So there are three categories. If it's something that I'm trying, that I'm showing you guys, I want you guys to try out something that I'm sharing. Maybe it's something that I've learned. We're going to put it into three categories. One of three categories. Cash, check, or credit. Cash means do it right away. It's wonderful. Go for it. Check means, I right, check please, it's over. No, no, we're not going to do this. And then credit, credit would mean uh i'm not so sure about it maybe i'm not sure because of the price i'm not sure because of the shipping time i'm not sure if this will actually work for my lifestyle or people who are very different from me and so i'm going to be giving you guys uh going forward my cash check or credit what it what categories is going to fall under so the color box activity box type of thing i'm definitely going to say is cash and it is cost effective so definitely those of you who have boxes around the house live by walmart live by somewhere where you can put a child in a big enough a large enough box and you have crayons and markers or you want to do maybe like the piggy bank activity that is a cash thing definitely cash check or credit that's cash take a look at the video enjoy don't forget to comment don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i'm noticing that some of you are actually watching the videos but you are not even signed up for youtube why not i don't understand why you're not signed up for youtube so go ahead create you an account use your email address create an account you can make up whatever name you like but make sure that you go ahead and create that account so you can come to the next step and subscribe to my channel and see what the next new thing is that we're doing i see that the month of february we all know the month of february is over and it's time to get some more of these wig reviews these hair reviews going i just haven't had the time yet to you know wash my hair and tie it back down and everything thing because you know under a wig your hair needs to be laid so anyhow that will be coming soon look for for some more of those wig reviews i am ready to get back to that also i've been having so much fun with my natural hair people have really been loving it and i don't know what took me so long to go ahead and get to this point and start sharing you know my experiences and the things that i like to do with my hair and things that i try but anyhow, I digress. That's not what this video is about. This video is about the color box activity, the activity box, making sure that you are subscribed, making sure you're leaving your comments, making sure you're liking the videos, making sure that you are an actual YouTube member. I know a lot of you guys are on here, ladies, are checking out YouTube videos, but you don't necessarily have an account. Why? Go ahead and have an account. You're already watching. You're already here. You might as well create an account. And you know what? I promise you, it is free. 
create your account the account is free f-r-e-e -E. that means nothing it costs you nothing a few minutes not even 10 minutes to create this account i doubt it even takes five minutes to create the account um even if you don't have an email address if you have an email address guess what that's probably maybe about two minutes depending on how fast your internet speed is so definitely create an account then find my channel kira kira cash check or credit find my youtube account and then go ahead and subscribe thank you so much check it out leave the comment below and i'll talk to you next time it's cool oh cool you're doing so good yeah what color is that do you know that color green good job Hmm? Okay, go ahead and write with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That one is empty. Does it write? Hurt your finger? It's okay. Okay. Great job, that looks beautiful.